Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Sorry, like, nappy hair is at it again. But that's not why we're here. We are here because you guys know I've been working on this hat. Um, this ear was shown in a, in a thumbnail. Then I got this one on this morning. I said I would teach you that. Uh, we'll do that in another video. Uh, but what I'm working on now is a unicorn horn. Ooh. So what I did was I pulled the yarn in on the inside and did two knots. Yes, I did. Got knotty on the inside of that. <laughs> and then um, started pulling yarn here. I can't keep remembering, like, gotta keep you, like, in in range of seeing everything here and also keep my arms comfortable as I'm teaching you this so what I basically do have a hand like that to push that like that and make sure that you're not grabbing the top of the hat because that's important um, ooh. And then what happens here is, if that happens, make sure that you can put your crochet hook back through those two loops. Huh, maybe it was just something I needed to teach you right there. Okay, pull that through. And we are going to do a simple chain stitch. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. Oh, no. That was not important. So, anyway, what we're going to do is a simple chain stitch all the way around in a circle on this to start making a unicorn horn. I just thought maybe I would teach you guys this part so that you can also know how easy it is to even add that onto a stuffed animal. Now, I do knit and crochet stuffed animals. Mostly crochet, because that's easier. And maybe, you know, like later on in a couple of months, maybe I could teach you guys how to make a cutimus stuffed animal. Now, I have made a stuffed unicorn before. Mm-hmm. Indeed, I have. Um, that went to Doug Paulson's daughter last year for her birthday. This year, it was delayed gift, and she got some uh, bath product from uh, Sin City Soaps and Candles, which I put some body butter on my hands. <sighs> I will link them here. With my affiliate code, SHARSNATION10, all in caps, so you can get 20% off your entire purchase at any time. And I will also link Doug Paulson right here, since I am the winner of his giveaway, his most recent giveaway. It's lovely. I'm just waiting for it to get here this week. If it doesn't get here this week, it'll get here next week. Anyway, so continue this around we're just gonna do this and then continue around and around yes you got me right now baby rice round is but it's the lyrics rice round or right round i think it's right round <laughs> That music came out when I was a teenager. Basically a kid. Okay. And you see how that's starting to like shape now right there. And then as soon as I get this all the way around to this part. Then we start more fun on this. Oh my gosh. Senior. 
I am glad that you are the unicorn queen because this is definitely unicorn girl. And Juliet, come back to YouTube. I miss crochet collabing with you. I really do. Oh my gosh, Juliet and I used to do crochet and knit collaborations. I miss doing that. Don't all don't let all the hypocrisy of YouTube get to you, girl. I'm still here. Oh, and thank you to everybody that's brought my uh, people's kiln up. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, I wish Juliet would come back. I really miss collabing with you. Because we always had fun with that, right? Oh. Uh, Let's see, today is Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'm expecting some jewelry this week. I'm kind of cutting back on how much I'm spending on jewelry. Okay, that one did not go through. Now see, sometimes you have a little problem getting that yarn to go through and just like Kind of try to stay in the looser parts along here as you're going around. And that actually makes it a lot easier. It really does. Okay, now that we're all the way back around there. And you can do the same technique with making flowers. Um, absolutely. That's a whole other video. <laughs> it really is. That is a whole other video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this around in a circle, single stitch, all the way around until you start to see this form a unicorn horn. I mean, you will anyway, but I want you guys to like really see how something like this is done. Sometimes it's a little hard to get that through there. This is the only crochet hook of mine that I could find, but you know what? I'm not mad at that pop my hand there, crack my arthritis. Sometimes my arthritis cracks me up. <laughs> oh yeah, it really does. Sometimes I crack myself up when cracking my bones. Uh, you know how we've always been told, you know, I think I mentioned this in another video. We've always been told, oh, don't crack your knuckles. No, actually what you're doing is you're releasing the pressure on that joint. You really are. You're releasing the pressure on it. Oh, yeah. Oops. Sorry, guys and gals. So, and then the other thing that I do to take it in, you can absolutely start doing that, like, in the nail, um, is, like, skip, well, we'll skip one in a minute. Okay, now we'll skip. We skip one, go to the other one, okay, skip one and go to this one this okay and then go in that one because we do need that one to stabilize it 
We'll do this one to stabilize it. And then we're going to just do that part. Now all we wanted to do is like skip a couple and then keep going. And why do we do this? It's because you don't want to lose the shape. Also what you can do when you get to a certain point is you can literally stuff this if you want. If you don't find that you like the shape of it just by being hollowed hollowed B by crochet. <laughs> you're, you're probably thinking, wait, she's going to go hollowed B by name. No, not really. Although I just did. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really hope that you guys enjoy me like teaching you knit crochet sewing there's a bunch of art videos that I have done um the sunset picture up here of Florida I did that Steve the cat um I don't have that on a video but that's actually one I did for uh, Rocco from roaming with Rocco which I will leave. See, if I mention somebody, I'm going to leave them right here. Um, <laughs> so that you can go check out their channel. That's just how I am. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and that's the truth. Uh, let's see. Who have I talked to recently? Oh, Giggles. Right here. You guys will like giggles. She's fun. Okay, we're going to skip. Start pulling that in. Because now we're coming to the point where it's like this and we don't want like this huge weird round bulb. <laughs> that wouldn't be cute. Um, Skip. And... Skip, bring that in, and then continue around. Now there are other ways to do a unicorn horn, which would be to do like three sections, right? And just bring them up together. I preferly prefer not to do that. It's not my preference. And it's not by L'Oreal. So <laughs> I don't even use L'Oreal products. It's got to use that for some humor. I did skip one right there, by the way. Now, am I going to make this unicorn horn, like, super long? No, this is a hat, and you don't, you don't want people to think you're a weirdo by having, like, some big old unicorn horn. I'll just make a, a minimized one. Um, oh, this will be great for, like, okay, no, I'm not even going to say that. Okay, Halloween is coming up wear your unicorn um let's see winter who says you have to dress like everybody else right you might be around the house you get a little cold i skipped one um and you want to put your hat on because your cranium might get cold and we can't have cold craniums Look. these things get naughty <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> no, seriously, he didn't. Clintons did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? And this is the reason why I used to put a bandana on my wrist. People thought that, that was weird. Like, I used to put a bandana on my wrist for several reasons. Um, carpal tunnel, number one. Um... 
Number two is if your nose itches, absolutely. You want a surface to be able to scratch your nose on, right? Because that makes sense. Okay, got it undone. Anyway, <laughs> back to the horn of thing. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how long this video is going to take. Oh, we've only been on here for 16 minutes and I've got this much done. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, have I got quicker at crocheting? A little bit. A little bit. I have. Okay. I know that looks funny. Oh yeah, that reminds me of that like that creature from Coney and the Barbarian. The one where he's saving that princess. Then I think he ends up with the princess in half their kingdom. <laughs> Okay, like right here when we're to this point of having this like this now if you look right here is where you can take some scrap materials and I don't have enough scrap yarn so right here is where you can take some scrap material and fill this in which is I wasn't prepared to do that but as always I just always happen to have some scrap yarn laying around, or scrap fabric laying around, yarn. I don't have any scrap yarn laying around that would completely fill that. So what we're going to do, and this is another thing that you can do with your scrap fabrics, right? Let's take your scrap fabrics carefully around your hands because you don't want to cut yourself. These are uh, razor sharp keep them that way on purpose because if you watch there's like this little ladybug pattern right here and that's made out of some really thick thread these scissors watch this cut right through that mm-hmm yeah, you know how sharp I keep these <laughs> yeah I keep these real sharp for a reason um, when cutting fabrics, you need to always have good um, scissors. Oh, and Viv from Viv Mom Sews. Link her. <laughs> Look, like I said, if I mention someone, I'm going to link them. That's just how I'm going to go. I think that's the best way to help other channels grow you know um is too much and now if you look that blue actually contrasts to the inside to uh for the yarn and that's not a bad thing that's actually a very good thing i'm gonna cut a little more of this for the filling of the horn the other thing i could have done was try to see if i had some sort of scrap fabrics to make the ear both ears and the horn with and but I didn't want to put fabric as that um, I want to make the ears and the horn obviously with the same yarn just so not spinning the yarn just making something with it okay now, fill this to your desired fluffness before you decide to continue. That's where I keep my crochet hook or my knitting needles is in my hair. Because um, I always either have a uh, ponytail, braids, or even a bun. I 
Occasionally I make a bun in my hair. So, now that that's actually more stable, right? And when you gotta continue around, you're not really gonna have to worry about, you know, like kind of tug and pull and get it to go where you want it. Catching the yarn helps. <laughs> I've had coffee. I was waiting for my death wish coffee to get here today. They said it would be here today. Like, are you serious? The 12th now? Seriously? I love death wish coffee. Don't get me wrong. I love it. it helps with my epilepsy. You guys have never been this slow getting my coffee to me. OMG. Never. No, I'm being serious. That company has never been this slow getting my coffee to me. It's a shame. And Ed then everybody uses Corona as an excuse. Get the F out. lame. It's just very lame. Okay. Now I'm going to start making this smaller. Bring this over here. That way I'll just pull some yarn off and use this to stabilize and bring this up here a little more. The way you guys can see that better. See what I mean? Like setting that on the ball of yarn. See this is actually a ball of yarn. If it's laid out the other way, it's a skein. This is a ball of yarn. Big difference. Um, and I hate it when people say skein. It's not a skein. It's pronunciated skein. <laughs> oh, gosh. Like... What's wrong with some people's verbs? Oh, got a question for you guys. Do you want to learn? Look, I am a person of many things. <laughs> In fact, my friend, he calls me a prepper sometimes, but I do know survivalist. I do know how to survive. If you want me to teach you guys that, Leave that in the comments. <laughs> but I definitely can show you uh, survivalist techniques. Because I'm a survivor. <laughs> I really am of several things. People have tried to send death my way and I came back. Um, I have. <sighs> but those people got their karma. Mm -hmm. Several different ways. You know, I even had somebody try to blind me and burn my face. That backfired. That person got burnt. And is going blind. Karma, karma. I'm telling y'all. People gotta be careful out there. Karma comes back and bites you in the ass. Okay, and that's the last little bit that I'm gonna put in there. Because now I need to make the unicorn tip. Otherwise, this isn't gonna look like a unicorn tip. That's gonna look like something. <laughs> we can't have Sinya walking around looking like she's sporting something naughty on her head. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, we can't. I would never do that. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, now this is where we take this in even further. Now this is uh, like how I uh, close off the top of the hat. And then I will go to a point on the very tip of this. Okay. Because that's the next part to do. But when we do that, we're actually going to squish that fabric. And that way it goes into a point. If you guys would like to see this hat, I don't know, Senia, do you want like horse mane on this? Or do you want like a horse tail on it? What, what else do you want on this, sweetie? Because I can do either or, or both. Um, I really could. Just for you. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yesterday, just Anne, Miss Anne Rankin, leave her right here, um, <laughs> got her package from me. Ah, that was a heavy one. I told you, girl. Heavy, heavy package. Oh, it was. Like, really heavy. I think it was like five pounds or something like that. Five pound or more of uh, body product. Okay. And I'm just going to take that through look doing this part of it like y'all this part is not the easiest part to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and then I'm going to take it going back this way and I'm doing that for a good reason. Not only because we have the gray on here and we might just want some contrasting color, but um, it'll also help to shape the horn and gives it some uh, good dimension. It does. It gives it some good dimension. I just don't want to make it look funky. This is supposed to be a unicorn horn, not a... <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... So going to quickly finish this part because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I really don't. I just like, I like teaching. Okay. That's just been my thing. I like teaching. It's a shame that they don't do home ec anymore because they used to teach this stuff in home ec. They just don't have it anymore. And then what you can do is take this color around to the next point, bring it back down, and then bring it around because that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, but like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. So... Am I going to end it right now? Eh, no, not really. Nope, not really. Okay, so we're going to bring that through. And then what we're going to do when we come back around this part is we're just going to go through. Okay. 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 <laughs> Poor kid in Colorado Springs yesterday. Like, what's up with your school system over in Colorado Springs? That was a 12-year-old kid with 
ADD. Like, how stupid was that? Try calling the parents, not the police. I swear, like, half the school systems are just jacked up. Serious. So, I'm going to bring this up on this part. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And, of course, as I do want to do that, that part gets not. Why is everything so naughty today? Um, oh, who knows? Who knows? Only the shadow knows. Uh, that was an old TV show, I believe. And then a very old, like, movie. Wait, no. I remember an old person told me that The Shadow used to be a uh, radio program. Like, before we had TV, it was a radio program. The Shadow. Have I ever had a favorite soap opera? Yes. Dark Shadows. The original one. Um, I did a tribute look for Dark Shadows for my 31 looks of Halloween. And um, I don't know, kind of turned out like one of the main characters on Dark Shadows. So, okay. So we're bringing this back up here before we go to... That's just weird. That just... Okay, sometimes yarn will be weird. I will say that. I will say that because it's true. Sometimes your yarn does not want to work with your crochet hook. And it doesn't want to let it wiggle through. Gotta have some wiggle room. Okay, as soon as I can get that through there. <laughs> ever. Okay, there we go. Gonna end this video for now. I will show you this part. See how that's more a point instead of looking like something that it shouldn't um because we don't want it to look like that um i am going to go ahead and this one finish this because i'm going to end up taking this hold on switching this down this way Oop, let's get that over there and then Take this through here. Sometimes this can get tricky. This can. You gotta really catch that on the, the hook. Make sure. I know it's a little like not that bright in here. Make sure you've caught that on the hook like that before you turn it to take it down the other side. And with that said, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I will show you the picture, you know, pictures. I will show you this when I'm done with it. I might go ahead and just see about putting a tail on the end of it. I'm not sure about that yet. I know how to do it, but... Senior, let me know other either 
on Instagram or in the comment section below. <sighs> yeah. Which one you prefer on this? A uh, mane or tail or both? And like I said, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because I got the rest of this to do. And I'm rethinking my style for the uh, jacket on my. Uh... All right, a lot of you didn't see. This is the fabric that I'm using for my tracksuit <laughs> that's a lot of pattern um and i took the zipper off of it last night while well, i unpinned it um so anyway guys look forward to an abundance of things to do um and teach you and some fun stuff and stuff and stuff um yeah because after i'm done with this hat um, I'm not sure if I want to do... Senia, let me know if you want knuckle gloves. That's another thing, girl. There's enough here for knuckle gloves. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I will see all of you in the next one. Yes, and these, these kinds of office chairs are fun because you can just sway in them. <laughs> can sway all day. Bye. <laughs>